Having football down to a science starts with having sleep down to a science. Because the better you sleep, the better you show up on game day. That's why NFL players rely on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. It senses their movement and automatically adjusts to keep them effortlessly comfortable. And it tracks vital sleep metrics like average heart rate and average breath rate, so they know exactly how well they slept. It tackles the science. All they have to do is sleep. It's the biggest sale of the year where all smart beds are on sale. Save 50% on the new Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, only for a limited time. Sleep Number, the official sleep and wellness partner of the NFL. Every year, compliance regulations change thousands of times. And every year, ADP makes thousands of seamless platform updates so businesses can focus on everything else, like running their business. Grow stronger with ADP. HR, talent, time, and payroll. A fire that damaged two portable classrooms at an Allentown Elementary School has been ruled as arson. In Pittsburgh, four people with large quantities of narcotics were arrested during a raid. A flash flood watch has been issued. Plus, a Vietnam vet makes good on a debt 50 years later. I'm Claudia DeMuro, and you're listening to Today in PA. A fire that destroyed two portable classrooms at Union Terrace Elementary School in Allentown has been ruled as arson, reports Lehigh Valley Live. The fire broke out July 26th and took firefighters roughly half an hour to get under control, with one later treated at a nearby hospital for heat exhaustion. The flames, thankfully, did not reach the main school building, which was only several feet away. As of Tuesday, Allentown officials could not confirm whether the fire had been intentionally or accidentally set. Additionally, no one has been charged, and the investigation into the matter continues. Four people with, quote, large quantities of narcotics, unquote, were busted by police in Pittsburgh last week, reports the Tribune Review. Officers plus a SWAT team conducted a raid at the Doubletree Hotel in Bigelow Square at around 1 a.m. on Friday, where they ended up confiscating six guns, 12 bricks of heroin, and $900 from a room on the 10th floor. Three adult men plus one juvenile were taken into custody, with the adults now held at the Allegheny County Jail. The juvenile was taken to the Schumann Center. Public safety spokeswoman Cara Cruz later called the sweep, quote, an ongoing investigation into the recent rash of violence on the north side. A flash flood watch has been issued this morning and will last until around 2 a.m. tomorrow, states Penn Live. Forecasters have predicted anywhere between one to over five inches of rain, all thanks to Tropical Storm Fred. There may also be a few thunderstorms here and there throughout this time period, which my dog Max is gonna love. So don't forget your umbrellas when you leave the house today, and most of all, please stay safe. In October 1966, against the backdrop of the Vietnam War, Sidney Katz borrowed 50 bucks from a friend in his unit named Frank Glowiak, describes the Times leader. He had every intention of paying him back too, but Glowiak was tragically killed in action on the field that very same day. And Katz never forgot that debt either. Now, five decades later, after getting the contact information of Glowiak's surviving family in Plymouth, he's finally made good on returning the dough. With interest, actually. Cad sent a check for a total of $500, which includes the original 50 plus that interest, to Glowiak's sister, Rosemary Gowett, who intends to donate the money to veteran causes. The check was enclosed in a note that read, quote, To Frank's family. Peace has victories, but it takes brave men like Frank to win them. My heroes are like Frank, who risked their lives for something bigger. A hero is something bigger than oneself. Thank you, Frank, and rest in peace. That ends today's episode. For even more business, sports, and entertainment news, head over to penlive.com. Also, if you like this podcast, please remember to give us a couple of stars on either Apple or Amazon and to leave us a review just so we know how we're doing. Thank you, of course, in advance. And as always, thanks for listening. And with that, I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back tomorrow for a little more Today in PA. If you're driving in the rain today, remember, please be careful. At Jiffy Lube, it's our job to make car care make sense. That's why we offer personalized service reviews that swap car talk for straight talk, so you know what your car is telling you and what to do about it. Putting you in the driver's seat of car care, that's a job for Jiffy. To find a Pennzoil Pouring Service Center near you, visit JiffyLube.com. Every company claims to have a single shared vision. 
But if you're not all working from the same data across functions and departments, they can't really work together, and that can cost you valuable time and resources. With Intelligent ERP from SAP, your entire business has complete visibility to work as one. From sales to HR, from finance to procurement. So you can all share one vision, one plan, and one purpose. Because together works. Learn more at sap.com forward slash ERP together.